Hey guys and welcome to Warcraft Daily for today the 18th of September 2013. So, really this um, this video is just to say, yeah, I'm kind of feeling a bit weird. Um, the reason why there's so many raid guides on the channel and uh, talk a little bit about progression and the world first and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, I've got a cold throat, whole head cold thingy. It's great fun, so that's why I'm not really up to doing any long form videos, which is why there's really been no gameplay the last day or two, and that'll probably stay the same until tomorrow, because I think I'll be better by then. So yeah, there's that. So uh, sorry about all the guides, I know that it's not relevant to everyone, but now that the LFR ones are here, I think it'll be of some value to most of you. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Um, and what was the other thing I was going to talk about today? Huh, there was definitely something. Yes, it was um, progression and stuff. The progression of all the big guilds has been ridiculously insane. Uh, you know, as we all know, in pretty much one lockout or like one day or something like that, they got through normal and already within, like pretty much within 24 hours, uh, Blood Legion had cleared 10 out of 14, which is crazy. Now, the Europeans do have a day, they're like a day behind because of the lockout schedule and stuff like that, but the Europeans are actually catching up and a lot of people are still saying that the Hero Guilds are going to win, which, well, it'll be nice because at the end of the day they do seem to put in more work than the American Guilds. Or at least I'd know they're better, but hey, like it's always Method or Paragon or some crowd like that that managed to get the kills, but it's just been weird. Like they have, th this race to world first has been so quick. Like in one lockout, the majority of the raid was dead. That, or not one lockout, in one night, one of the majority of the raid was dead. That's crazy. Compare that to the like progression of Throne of Thunder. I don't know, I think this raid is actually severely undertuned for the ultra, like, hardcore guilds, and when I say this raid, I more mean heroic mode. I think if they're clearing it that quickly, and they're not in full, they're probably not in full normal gear, because they just will not have had the amount of lockouts to get that gear. Uh, if the tuning of the fights means that they can clear it this fast, in the relatively not the best gear, in terms of how good it is to, uh, in comparison to the content, then that just it screams alarm bells to me that perhaps most of Heroic will not be as hard as a lot of guilds, the guilds who like doing Heroics, will want. So that's a little bit of a problem. Overall, though, I think normal mode so far is pretty tuned to give an enjoyable but relatively speedy progression for everyone. And I think that's that's great right now, but I would be worried like if, if the rate of kills were to increase too much, or even stay the same as they are now, like we killed an entire wing in one week, then I'd just be worried that the raid would really burn out for people, and we'd be left a few months with really nothing to do. Of course, for our guild, normal mode, or sorry, heroic modes will pretty much clear us until the next expansion, let's be honest. So there's that. But it's, it's just interesting. I'll have like actual proper fully formed thoughts on that tomorrow, and really the reason I just did this video is to say, Hello, I'm feeling weird, that's why there's no long commentary stuff, and that's why there's so many guides, because they're short, sweet, and they just involve editing and writing, which are the two things that I can do pretty well at the minute. In other news, my um, suspension arm has arrived, I haven't set it up yet, but it should mean that our audio quality gets a little bit better for gameplay videos and stuff like that, which will be awesome. But anyway, that's it for me, and this short little Warcraft daily, um, I'll be back with all the news and views and good stuff tomorrow, and with that, I'll see you next time.